Yeah, number seven out there is uh, Salah. Number six, Noah. Jarvis Walker, the number four, is out there. And as we expected, Calvin Oldham. Now that is the sort of play that we've come to expect already from Wendell Alexis, former student of Syracuse College. Capacity crowd absolutely packed out this uh, small stadium. Tremendous atmosphere. Goodis on the top. Any foul looking to get inside, does it again. Once again, the uh, defence opening absolutely up. And 12 to 2 it is. That's a fadeaway shot. That was a good shot by Calvin Oldham, the other American with the club on his second season. 20 to 14 it is. Maccabi elite in yellow leading. 13 minutes, 18 seconds left in his first half. Hennefeld gets the two, second phase, unlucky there, uh, the Germans. Ball just... But uh, really failed to, to switch to four cylinders last season. And that is as emphatic as you will get. Big Levon Mercer slamming that ball down. So, 10 minutes, 24 seconds left in this first half. 14 minutes and 29 seconds left. The clock actually is stopped. And now it's going, it's, it's 10 minutes and 13 seconds left. It's 30 points to 60. The lead have been in over the years. They really should uh, dominate. Although it's great to see uh, this German team uh, really working so hard. There. Two more. Motti Daniel. Former student of uh, George Washington University. He studied and played there for a couple of seasons. I'm making his seventh season with Maccabi Elite. Oh, nice. Well, that's a foul. That sure is a foul. Big Levation in a sense. The big men marking space. Kajawa marking the middle. Watching very carefully. Oh, and he let him go. He let him go just for a moment, Kajawa. And uh, Levon Mercer took his chance and went blindside and smacked it in. The Israeli side, very, very experienced indeed. 44 26, then three minutes to go to the end of this first half. Spencer Dunkley now on for Maccabi Elite, and that's two, that's a three-pointer, incidentally, from Elimelech. We're going to look at uh, Spencer Dunkley in a moment. Uh, the Britain, two metres and ten. Let's have a look at the uh, shot, weak side pass. Oh, that was a nice play. Very nice play by uh, Mike Noor. And the Israeli coach is saying that he hung on the ring. He did indeed. Nothing called. And there's the clock for you to see. 53 seconds remaining in this first half. It's 51 to 30. Now to uh, increase their planes. In fact, the zone defence played by uh, Ulm has had a nice effect. Except when you can get a man like Doran Jamsi who can hit his three-pointers. Uh, Jamsi regarded as uh, one of Europe's top outside shooters. And uh, really, if... Uh, the Germans play the zone, then he's going to take those uh, shots without pressure. High percentage play, passing it out in doubt. Baseline play by Jamshi. Oh, nice, nice assist from Dunkley uh, to Mercer. And eventually, a very hard fought for two points. 59-38, 15 to go. This is the Korach Cup, Europe's third men's competition. Oldham, a Walker, Walker defended by Limelich. Walker again, now, now the man who's averaging 27 points a game in the Bundesliga is beginning to hit and danger signals at 63-47, 12.35 to get margin. He always sensed that if the Germans could pop away another couple of three-pointers then, well, there'd be a very, very big noise in here. But that sort of play from the captain, playing the captain's role, must dampen the ardour of any side. Doran Jamsi, three more. 70 to my left. They're trying to get Calvin Oldham back into the game again. The second American, Alexis. Oh, the crowd go quiet. He's such an accurate player. Dominant player up there. Cool, calm, collected, effective. Goodness. Slowing it down. Less than two minutes to go. Doran Jamsi. The rebound, Hennefeld uh, gets inside, doesn't need it. Two more. That'll go to Jamshi. 
Actually, Doran Jones, receiving instructions all the time from Muli Katsurin. The coach and captain working well together. Good understanding. Oh, super three-point shot from Jarvis Walker. Every single a point now counting. 86 to 72. And that's the final score. 86 to 72 in favour of Maccabi Elite. And how the Maccabi team played well. Uh, Goodis didn't quite fire on all cylinders. Hennifel played really well. Levon Mercer got it together. Uh, Doran Jamsi shot well. Wendell Alexis, for me, was the man of the match. And all of the players began to show that they've got uh, a little bit of class. So, Maccabi Elite come out uh, winners of this first leg of this third round of the Korac Cup. 86 to 72. Good game. Closely contested in every sense. Great crowd here. Well, we're going to go now to a break, and after the break, uh, we've got a couple of interviews for you, so stay with us.